you think it will never happen to you, that it cannot happen to you, that you are the only person in the world to whom none of these things will ever happen. And then, one by one, they all begin to happen to you in the same way they happen to everyone else. Well, I call it uh, a book of autobiographical fragments. It's not even an autobiography because it doesn't have a continuous narrative and it doesn't go in chronological order. Um, so it's a different kind of work altogether. Um, I think of it as a book, a work of literature, um, composed more or less as a piece of music um, with uh, many strands to it. A subject is announced perhaps early and you don't know what's going to happen with it and then it'll be elaborated more fully later on. So there's a lot of overlapping back and forth, moving through time, or I should say even leaping through time. Um, so it's a very unconventional book. Um, and for better or for worse, and I really mean for better or for worse, I've never read this book before. I, I don't know. There's no precedent that I can think of. Um, so um, I think a reader has to be willing to go on this wild and woolly journey and, um, you know, hope for the best. Hope he or she doesn't fall off the saddle. I think that sentence says it all. It's uh, very important. Um, uh, I just, like every other person in the world, am uh, you know very preoccupied with those questions. I don't want to get into it in any great detail in this interview, but uh, um, I mean there are very few of us I think who aren't willing slaves of eros. I think this is the most compelling part of being alive, and. Um, it's driving us all. Well, it's there, you know. It's it's um, uh, it's 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 the place we're all going, and I think um, it's something that once you 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 achieve a certain age, you you you're preparing for it. You're preparing for it all your life, um, and I think. Without it, without that end looming in front of us, that unknown end, because certainly it's impossible to predict when it's going to happen, uh, it's that threat that helps us form and shape our own lives. I mean, without it, I think we wouldn't bother to do anything. Um, if we were eternal, uh, you know, you could do it tomorrow, but uh, because there's so little time, um, we push ourselves to try to do something with our short space on this earth. So frightening as it is, it's probably the greatest motivating factor for all human life achievement uh, thoughts um, and, and mayhem that, uh, that exists. You know, that word enjoyment is, um, it's hard to talk about that in terms of writing. Writing is very hard, and it takes a lot out of you. And every day when I finish, I get up from my from my desk, and I am exhausted. I mean, my whole body is, I feel as if I've run 100 miles. I'm that tired. Um, but yes, of course, it gives pleasure, and the struggle of it gives pleasure, too. Even though you're knocking your head against the wall half the time, um, just the, um, the the sense of accomplishment when you do write a, a sentence that that you feel is not terrible, or a paragraph that has some music to it. Um, that's why you keep going. So yeah, I have to love it. Otherwise, why would I have been spending almost fifty years doing this? I get pleasure out of it, but it's not it's not the kind of pleasure you get from smoking a good cigar or having a good meal, or a really beautiful kiss from somebody. It's a different kind of pleasure.